I am Daniel Lickis. Hello, I'm Alessandro Baratoni. Welcome to Food 101. Food, 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 people. Let's talk about food. Oh, Chefy, another week. Yes, already passed by. Wow. <laughs> Happy Halloween, people. Yes. <laughs> I hope, you enjoy, I hope you enjoyed your Halloween here in British Columbia. People enjoyed it because it's not raining. So. Oh, yeah, it was crazy today, man. It was crazy in Toronto today. Oh, uh, it, it's raining here too, also, Shabby. Right now, yeah. it's raining. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Rain, rain, rain under the autumn leaves. And, Shabby, let's do the recap. Of the last week, we talked about... Herb. Yeah, last week, yes, we talked about herbs and uh, I explained, you know, the general uh, the herbs. Uh, it's, uh, it's a group of plants, you know, uh, excluding the vegetable, of course. And uh, then um, usually is uh, uh, generally is referred to the leaf green of, uh, of the plant. So uh, instead, a uh, difference with the spice. The spice are usually they are dry and, uh, and produce uh, only from uh, parts of the plant, uh, like seeds, uh, roots, uh, and fruits. That's the difference between the two. So you can have your your herbs. Uh, you can have fresh, or you can have dry. That's what we talked last time. Yes, people. So if we talk about uh, herbs. Well, next will be a spice. Yes, now we talk about spice today. Yes, absolutely. So, practically, um, the spice, the spice, uh, it's, uh, uh, it's coming from seeds, from fruits, from roots. Uh, um, and uh, primary use for uh, flavoring the, the food uh, or coloring the food. Um, now, for example, uh, while you can, of course, uh, it's no use as a garnish, that's for sure, spice, but, you know, uh, you can flavor your, your food uh, with spice, most, most important thing. For some uh, spices uh, can be used for medicine, can be used not just for food, uh, can be used for perfume, like, for example, the vanilla. Uh, many many fragrances use vanilla extract inside. So, and uh, so that's uh, that's probably what's the uh, what's the spice is. It's uh, you give the the flavor of uh, on the food most definitely. People spices is very important in the kitchen as well as herbs. And last we talk about. Most important spice, right, Chaffee? Yes, we talked about uh, uh, the most important herbs last time. We talked, yes, and this is spice considered as most of the expensive spice in the world. Saffron, yes, and number one producer of, of saffron people is Iran. They are, yes, 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 that's right. Their specialty in planting saffron so if you are wondering where saffron came from uh, the most saffron is available in iranian market yes absolutely it's uh it, it actually be honest with you it's not that expensive like maybe spain or other place yes and i learned Jeffy, that the spice is also used for medicine religious yes. rituals cosmetics yes. And perfume. Wow. So, Chef, in the kitchen, why the spice is very important? Well, uh, the spice are important because uh, we what we use to give the flavor to the to to the food. You know, uh, the countries they use more spice. I believe it's uh, Indian. I think it's uh, the the most uh, the most. Uh, uh, they use lots of spice on food, but you know that doesn't make uh, you know, you know uh, all all countries got own different kind of spice. You know, um, you know we can go. You got the Cajun, you know, from the states, or 
Uh, let's see what else what we got. Um, Bangladesh, they're good in spice too. Yeah, Bangladesh got lots of spice. They use lots of spice too. But you know, the spice that we use uh, almost every day, like you know, uh, coriander, you know, we have cumin, uh, dill, fennel, uh, curry, for example, curry powder, curry sp the spice of the curry powder. And uh, we got so many, so many that, you know, the list is so long, it never, never, never stops. Definitely. So before we go on, Chefy, because we're talking about the spice, we want to shout out to the people listening in India because these places use the spice too much in their poo, in their cuisine. Yeah, right, Chefy. It's a good cuisine. <laughs> yes, it's spices. So in Maharashtra, we got 31% of share, Chefy. Wow. Now, National Capital Territory of Delhi at 12%, Kamataka at 11%, Telangana at 7%, Chhattisgarh at 7%, West Bengal at 5%, Uttar Pradesh at 5%, uh, Gujarat at 3%, Rajasthan, Punjab, Haryana, Tamil Nadu, da Damam and Du, Man Madhya Pradesh, Kerala, Jaclan, Bihar, Nagaland, Hamishal Pradesh, Union Territory of Pudashari, Odisha, and last but not the least, Goa. Thank wow. you. That's a Th lovely list there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you, India, for supporting this podcast because this podcast is created in power, food, 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 most especially spice, spice, spice. So, Safi, let's do give example where we use spice in the kitchen. Well, spice, uh, well, you, you use to flavor your, your food, like I say, you know. Let's say we want to do a roast chicken, no? So yes. let's say let's say we want to put some uh, Cajun. So you make you you get your Cajun uh, Cajun spice and you put it on. There we go, and then you grab. You know they got a nice flavor Cajun uh, when you roast it. You know, so you can uh, uh, let's see. Well, you guys in in uh, in the Philippines use a lot of spices too. Yes, definitely, Chefy. But in India, Chefy, they said that India contribute. To seventy five percent of okay, global, of the yes, yes, that's true. Yes. Oh my goodness! And this is reflected culturally through its cuisine. Yeah. Oh my goodness! So that's why the capital spice of the world is India. <laughs> don't you think? <laughs> yeah, well, not too bad. Like, come on. Uh, but you know, in Italy, we have a uh, uh, mortar. You know, the mortar to paste the the uh, black pepper or you know so we ground our spice by ourselves you know yes. instead to use the grounder no or to buy because you know if you ground fresh they got different flavor they already they already grounded of course you know the power of the of the powder it's less than when you get the fresh one no yes yeah Definitely. And the word spice is originated in the Middle English from the old French. Yes. Uh, so spice is from the French word, not the English word. According to the Middle English Dictionary, the old French word comes from Anglo-French spice. Uh, <laughs> nice <laughs> trivia. <laughs> yeah, that, this is a good one. Like that's a good one. So, <laughs> good one. so Shafi, for the main course, let's do a give example for uh giving spice to a dish that we serve in the main course. For a main course spice. Yes. Okay, well depend uh, depend what we cook what we could cook, no? Yes, let's so let's do Italian cuisine. Okay. Uh, let's say we want to do. Okay, so let's say we want to we want to do. Um, uh, okay, let's say we want to do a, a a lamb. You know, a roast. Oh yes. Okay. 
so you you get all your spice uh, like uh, you know you got your uh, different kind of uh, peppers uh, you know you got some uh, uh, some nice uh, I'm usually use uh, uh, simple simple spice you know if uh, if okay let's say you want to do um, some uh, uh, let's say garlic powder mixed with uh, with uh, pink pepper black pepper you know and uh, you know you brush your uh, your uh, lamb some nice dry uh but most most of what we do in italy is most it's uh herbs it's not the <laughs> <laughs> no, spicy. No, but the, the thing came up right away in my mind it's uh, you know okay uh yeah, garlic powder cumin or paprika you know chili powder or mustard powder you know that's the things coming up right, right in my mind you know, to to add on it but when you look in your diet and cuisine, okay, we put, yeah, we use some spice, but most it's herbs. So we use uh, rosemary, oregano, you know. Um, yeah, I would say, let's, um, if we try, we, what we gonna do, um, if we wanna give an extra kick on, on, on a nice uh, lamb, a lamb dish, I will try maybe, uh, some extra spice, like uh, you know, I would prefer uh, uh, some uh, garlic powder, some coriander, some cumin, uh, some paprika, uh, even mustard powder is okay, you know, and just to brush to the to the to the lamb, then olive oil, and then you just uh, uh, put in the oven. Then, of course, with the regular you know herbs that we use in Italy, it's uh, a little bit rosemary, oregano, you know, uh, a little bit sage and. Uh, Let's give a, a, an extra an extra uh, kick on the flavor of the of uh, of the lamb. Usually, you know, uh, but typically uh, when we cook the lamb, for example, it's uh, you know you want to give the the woody uh, minty flavor uh, roast. Eh? But you know when when you want to give a nice kick, you can add this kind of uh, uh, extra spice. You know. Uh, that's what they they, they come, what come up right now to me, eh? In my mind. Yes, yeah. definitely. Very well said, Shafi. But... <laughs> well, no, because yes. automatically, you know, when when if I cook Italia, the first thing I pick up, okay, I pick up my my basil, my oregano, my you know, uh, make a tomato sauce. So, there we go, done deal. You know, so it's easy, yes. you know. But when you're going to start to deal with spice uh, and, uh, you know, you, I don't want to exa exaggerate too much on the flavor because you don't want to cover up too much. Because, of course, it's uh, the spice aroma that uh, make the, give the aroma to most to the, to, the, to the dish that you're going to prepare, of course. But yes. I don't want to cover up too much. I want to keep as much sample as possible. And, uh, and that's it. So, and uh, I like spice, but I don't like too much spice. Then... Uh, you know, doesn't it make me taste what I'm eating? You know what I mean? Even if I make, even if I make a, a pena arrabbiata, you know, it's an Italian dish, you know, the arrabbiata dish, you know, I, I try to don't put that much chili pepper because I want to still enjoy the tomato, I still want to enjoy the pasta, you know, and I don't want to just feel the, the heat of my mouth, you know? Definitely. Any spice people are primarily used as a food flavoring or to create variety. Yes, it's flavor is uh, very important, you know, uh, to give it to to any dish. But then, of course, any country has got different uh, way how to use spice. You know, like for example, we say India has got lots of uh, lots of spice to use, and the flavor they add lots of spice on the food and uh, they, they they create. And uh, same thing, uh, Chinese cuisine has got lots of spice too, of course. You know. Yes. So yes. each country's got their own different kind of use of spices, but uh, for for uh, me, you know, to use uh, uh, in the kitchen, yeah, I use some, but not that many. And uh, but I still enjoy when, especially when I'm home, to to do something with, uh, you know, like if I want to do a a, a, a nice. Uh, um, 
let's say a nice uh, Cajun chicken, I make a jerk spice uh, chicken, uh, like a Jamaican style. I, I make at home. It's not, it's not that I don't want to use uh, the spice. But to be an Italian chef, to use, uh, you know, to uh, cook Italian food, you know, I'm a little bit, you know, um, strict on the, <laughs> on the spice. <laughs> Yes, people, as they said, spice give flavor to every dish that you're making. But be careful, not all the spice are good for flavoring like nutmeg. Be careful of putting nutmeg, that, not that much, because nutmeg, if you put too much, it's toxic. So well, of course, careful. we talk about nutmeg, so the first thing I'll come up with my mind is pumpkin pie, no? So yes. <laughs> pumpkin pie, of course, we we put we put you know you get your cinnamon, you put your uh, your uh, nutmeg inside, you know a little bit ginger powder too. So you got your your kick of spice inside, but of course don't exaggerate. You don't exaggerate, people. Uh, if you have the recipe, use the recipe itself because. Some of the spices, as I said, they are dangerous if you put too much, just like nutmeg. So, Shafi, uh, before we go on, we are inviting our listeners to grab a copy of our volume 12 Italian cuisine. Uh, yes, please do so, please. Thank you very much. Yes, and uh, with... Chef Alessandro on the book itself. The ebook is available already, and the paperback and hardcover to be followed because I need to edit. <laughs> 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 but it's already done, people. Available on Amazon and leading online bookstores worldwide. Food 101, Volume 12, Italian Cuisine with myself and chef alessandro <laughs> yeah thank you <laughs> uh, we promise that we're gonna do more i don't worry <laughs> yes we will do lots of lots of volumes people not it will not end there we have more volumes to come plus please do listen to my other podcast Book 101 review on my third season and my book 101 I'm happy to share to you. It's on the number two best book podcast on the planet given by Feedspot. Please do listen to our Food 101 because they are bigger, better, and bolder. <laughs> yes. And watch out for our fourth season because we are preparing for big, 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 big to come. And so, Chevy, guys, what else we can say about it? For uh, Spice, for Spice, uh, I can say, you know, okay, uh, like I say, you know, it uh, can be seeds, it can be uh, fruits can be flower buds, uh, you know. Uh, I would say to try to make something, you know, not too spicy, okay? <laughs> but, <laughs> no, no, no. Make, make, it, make your dish as usual, you know, and uh, try something new and add the spice. I'm trying to educate a little bit my kids on the spice, you know, to make it taste a little bit different and everything. You know, uh, like even masala spice, or you know, a kind of uh, uh, Curry. Tar, tar, tar spice. Uh, actually, you eventually some of this kind of spice you can make it by yourself mixing the things together. So you know, you, it's pretty cool. It's pretty interesting to do it. I, I did once. So uh, if you uh, you can if you want to try to create something, you know, some spice uh, like a Middle East spice uh, that very very cool actually and uh, to try for uh, lamb or stuff like that. Uh, you should try to check on the internet how to, what's the ingredient. And try to mix it by yourself, you know. Uh, it's, pretty, it's pretty cool at the end, you know, when you got people come over your house and try the food and they say, oh, this is very good. Oh, you did. I say, you can say, I did by myself. I created spice by myself. That's very cool. <laughs> yes. Very cool, people. We are encouraging you to use his spice as well as herbs for marination or something that you put in your dish to make your food delicious. Yes. 
you know, just you know, try your best. The whole food would be always delicious. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> try, yes. try, keep it dry. You know, the food is going to be delicious. Try and try until you succeed, people. Yes. And Chef and I are always encouraging you to do experiment in the kitchen. Yes, because the, the most you do experiment in the kitchen, the more you create something that you're gonna proud of, something that will echoes. Let's have a sample of a dish. Let's say lasagna. Yeah. Okay, lasagna. It's something uh, created what 18th century or 17th century and yes. then until now it's still echoing from our generations or who knows you are the one who gonna make another version of lasagna that is so popular until now is still very famous and then for sure it carries on to our generation to generations to come so people Chef and I are encouraging you to do try, make, try, yes. try do mistake to do mistake in the oh, kitchen. Yes. It's something else. It makes you better in the process. Don't be ashamed. Don't be hesitate to do mistake because mistake make you perfect in the process. Absolutely. Okay, Shafi, let's do the trivia time. Oh my god, I don't like to watch this trivia. <laughs> trivia time, bum 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 bum. <laughs> trivia for today is uh, what will be my trivia, Shafi? Wait, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> it's the struggle with the trivia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my trivia about me, I am a photographer, people. I'm part-time photographer. I have a lot of photography about flowers. Because in British Columbia, when it's summer or spring, they blooming very, very beautiful, people. So I capture every moment, every scene of the flowers blooming i have a lot of volumes spring flowers from one to i think i have 135 volumes about flowers wow so, <laughs> it's it's available on amazon and worldwide and i use only my phone iphone fan Ten wow. people. <laughs> i use only my phone and i make i, I never edit it too it's instant that what I take from my phone, it is on what I publish on the book. It's something else. It's collection of spring flowers in British Columbia. Wow. So that's, that's my starting point, how to publish books. And uh, now that I'm professionally publishing book, now it's easy for me. It's just even my eyes closed. I know what are the procedure in making or <laughs> procedure publishing books on, on Amazon. So please do, people, please do grab a copy of my spring flowers. They are my hard labor of taking picture of flowers in the beautiful British Columbia. Wow. Fantastic. Um, Fantastic, Shafi. It's your turn. Ah, it's my turn now. I thought I'd skip my. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, me, well, me, uh, you know, I always dig in myself at work. I always are working. So all the time, the time that I got off, I try to spend at home as much as possible. So, you know, yeah, you know, uh, help my wife as much as I can. Uh, I like to relax myself when it's uh, my day off and try to don't think about work, but then you always think about work anyway. You know, it's a, it's a sickness what we have, you know, about <laughs> this job. You know, always think about work. But, you know, I'll try to relax myself. To relax myself, I love to watch movies. You know, I really love to watch movies. And, uh, you know, I think uh, when I got my free time, usually at the end of the night, when everybody goes to sleep, I can watch my movie. You know, that's uh, uh, relax me a, a lot. Uh, that's uh, most about the trivia of the day for me. About <laughs> myself, you know, how I relax myself on my day off. <laughs> yes, 
definitely. So, Sheppy, before we gonna say bye to our listeners, we yeah. want to shout out our ranking tops in the last 30 days according to Apple Charts. Oh, wow, fantastic. Okay, yes. cool. Be- because in Kuwait, we are number two, Sheppy. Number two, wow, fantastic. Sh- Shukran Jazil and Kuwait. I hope you continue listening to this podcast in Senegal. We are number three on the Apple chart. Wow. Uh, thank you, Senegal. Qatar at number 13. Canada at number 14. Thank you, Canada. Thank you. And, and India at number 29. Wow, fantastic. That's Thank you, India, the capital spice of the world. Yeah. Republic of Korea, number 47. And Vietnam at 2220. Thank you so much for supporting this podcast. As I said, this podcast is created in power, food, food, food. And we are looking forward for our 2 million downloads. Yes, try my best. Yes. We'll try our best. <laughs> for Shabi, thank you for your time. No, no, thank you very much for me. You know, I always enjoy, you know, that. Mega people, see you soon. See you soon. Bye bye.